going on everybody out there this is popular stranger we're back at you again today with another mup 15 video it's final edition wednesday we got a good one this week guys at least i think it is we got a 98 overall for number 99 marcel darius from the buffalo bills a big run stuffing quarterback sacking defensive tackle and i you know i'm excited i like the big defensive tackles in this year's game like vince wolfork and uh don terry poe those guys have been getting it done for me clogging up the middle and i got a feeling this card might be able to do the same so let's take a look at this one plus the four other cards that came out this week so here is the marcel darius set as always it contains 10 cards that need to be collected the first one is the collectible from the solo challenge, which I played earlier this morning. We got that collected. The five gold badges, not a surprise there, but let's take a look at the four player cards for this week. We got a kicker for the first time. They showed Matt Bryant some love. I'm hoping eventually my boy Cody Parkey from the Eagles, a fantastic rookie kicker. Hopefully they show him some love. I mean, he was a Pro Bowl kicker, so here we go, 96 overall. Matt Bryant, nothing too exciting here. Kick power, 96. Kick accuracy, 98. That's really all that matters. So this is more so for, I mean, this will be an extremely cheap card, I would imagine. Um, so our, maybe all you Falcons fans building a team um, or just people completing the set uh, might go after this card, but nothing special there. Certainly not worth the 50 or 40K that it's up for now. Uh, the next card up, linebacker from the Denver Broncos now. I was confused, not confused, I don't want to use the word confused because I wasn't confused, but I was, uh, when I was reading the list of these players, I, you know, my brain, I saw Brandon Marshall and immediately thought, wow, they gave Brandon Marshall another card, but nope, it's the linebacker from the Denver Broncos, this guy's hilarious, you guys should follow him on Twitter, he gets mistaken for the wide receiver Brandon Marshall all the time and he owns it, he jokes about it, it's it's really, really funny. Uh, but this guy's a 93 overall left outside linebacker, again from the Broncos, six foot two, 92 acceleration, 92 block shot, 92 speed, 96 tackle, 96 pursue, 90 strength, 87 play rack, and 87 zone coverage. This card actually looks pretty solid. Could be, I know I said this every week, but this could be another really good budget card uh, for all you guys who have build, build and budget teams or guys who just don't have a lot of coins to go out and get cards. I like this one just looking at the stats initially because he has good block shed with the 92 and really good zone coverage for a linebacker. Um, so very, very balanced. Looks like he can pass rush. Looks like he can play some coverage. So go ahead and check him on out if you think those stats look good as well. Next up, this one took forever to show up on the auction house. Running back from the Detroit Lions, Joik Bell. He has a really fun name to say, Joik. I wonder if he says that like when he's juking people on the field. I don't know. I'm just wandering here. So 93 overall. From the Detroit Lions, as we mentioned, five foot eleven, so he's one of those smaller backs. 82 awareness, 92 ball carrier vision, 92 speed, 94 acceleration, 86 elusiveness, 89 agility, 97 carry, 97 truck. So not the fastest guy, but he does have the trucking power. He looks like he's going to be pretty reliable for hanging on to the ball with that 97 carry. Let's take a look at his strength, 83. So pretty good strength there. So hopefully that trucking will uh, play into effect this one right now on the auction house for 58k is the cheapest up and then lastly cowboys fans i know i follow a couple of them shout outs to what the moose um i know that everybody all the cowboy fans were looking for this card and they finally got one tyron smith or tyron smith uh 95 overall left tackle from the dallas cowboys he's not better than jason peters Six foot five, 78 agility, 96 run block, 94 strength, 94, I'm sorry, 74 speed, 97 pass block, 82 awareness, 85 acceleration, 95 impact block. Let's actually compare him to Jason Peters. And um, so Jason Peters gets the strength uh, win there, awareness win, agility and speed, or no, agility goes to Tyron, speed is the same, acceleration as Tyron. Um, or Tyron, I don't know if I'm saying his name wrong, but Jason Peters better run block, Smith better pass block, and better in plaque. So, uh, pretty similar cards, I guess, if you like pass blocking, go with him. If not, go with Jason Peters. Actually, you should just go with Jason Peters because, yeah, he's better. 
I'm just I'm just messing with you, Cowboys fans. Okay, so there are the four cards. Let's not get off track trying to dog Cowboys fans. Um, let's take a look at Marcel Darius, 98 overall, as we mentioned. And, and one cool thing, now I haven't really been paying attention to much too much, um, but we mentioned the loyalty collectibles last week. You do get one of those by completing the set, and I looked back and saw that you also get one for completing um, Friday's Combine Warrior set, which I believe was Brandon Cook. So it's good that they're adding these loyalty collectibles in sets now. It gives you other ways to earn them. Um, so that's pretty cool. It might make me want to do some sets just to get those collectibles. So let's take a look at Darius now. So it only took all day but we finally got a Darius on the auction house here on the PS4 it's been up for about a half hour I've been checking it in between solos in between seasons games and haven't been able to find one but finally we got here uh one on the auction house just short of five o'clock eastern time so here it is 98 overall six foot three 94 tackles 68 finesse moves 82 speed 98 block shed 88 uh, play recognition? Because I don't think that would be press coverage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's play recognition. 99 strength, 99 power moves, and 94 pursuit. So not a bad card. Again, one of those big defensive tackles that's going to be great in run stopping. So let me know in the comment section if you guys are going to go after this card or if you already started working on it. Feel free to let me know that in the comments as well. I'm on one of my alternate accounts, and I figured, you know what? I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek for all of you that have hung on and watched the end of this video. Here is kind of a sneak preview of the All Eagles team that I am building. I'm pretty much done. I have to transfer some of my cards over from my main team over to this account. But here is the offense so far. is built up, and then the defense uh, just got to fill in a few missing pieces, like I said, but it's going to be ready very, very soon. We'll hopefully have a full team update on this All Eagles team coming this weekend and then maybe some gameplay on the weekend as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Popular Stranger, and I'm out. Peace.